New XFM Breakfast Show with myself, uh, Danny Wallace, and uh, we're coming towards, well, the the end of the first week. It's Friday. It's, it's pretty much the end of the day. Yeah, I think it's gone very well. You know, we've had uh, an array of guests, um, uh, great interaction with the callers. We're getting to know each other. That's lovely. But it being Friday, we thought it'd be nice to do a kind of, you know, I don't know, sort of a, like a roundup maybe of the week. We look at the news, what's happened, we look ahead, some entertainment stuff, that kind of stuff. And who better to do that than a man I first met in a tunnel. He is, uh, it's topical as well because you may have seen um, pictures this week. Uh, it was all over like the American press, some of the magazines and stuff as well. A picture of um, Harry Potter, Ron Weasley and Hermione taking some downtime while filming, you know, the last uh, instalment of the Harry Potter film and reading a book, right? And they were looking at it. You could see Harry Potter, Daniel Radcliffe, looking at it, reading aloud to the others who were laughing. And it's called, it's a great book, one of my favourites, it's called The Time Waster Letters. Uh, I don't know why they called it that, because these are quite sincere letters written by uh, a guy called Robin Cooper, who just essentially has ideas for making things better. Um, and uh, I, I thought it'd be great to get him on, so please, in the studio, please welcome Robin Cooper, um, who's a, a, a terrific man. Hello, how are you all? Uh, we're all right, yeah, not too bad. Nice to be in the studio. <laughs> Television studio. I look in this camera here. Uh, north, <laughs> the North camera. Yes, yeah, just oh, the, the, well, the it's a North, the North Star. Yeah, of course, at night. It's a, well, not the brightest star. Hmm. Sirius is bright. It is, it is, it is. H how are you this morning? Yes, I'm very well. It was a pleasure to see them reading the book. That for his film Harry Potter's Penguins. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. It's all jokes, yeah. Mm, it's a good one. So, uh, but how, how did it show. How, how did it feel? Uh, how did it feel? It felt wonderful. Mm. It felt wonderful. How did what feel? <laughs> <laughs> uh, seeing your book being book read published. by. Uh, well, I yeah, saw the book, The Time Wasted Letters. Well, I don't know why they called it that because they were very, as you said, sincere. Yeah, sincere. Uh, uh, correspondi. Yes. And, um, but it was published in a magazine and the man was reading it. Yeah. <laughs> of course, they, the films were very successful. The Harry, Harry Potter, Potter. Films. Did you know <laughs> the woman that wrote the book is a millionaire? <laughs> is that right? Well, just from the books? Just from the, the books. The books and the they films. They sold s hundreds of copies all around wow. the world and in translation. <laughs> <laughs> um, Next caller, please. No, you do that. All right. right. Uh, Robin, we first met in a tunnel a few years ago. Yes. We got on very, very well. We did get on well. Um, right. We have kept in constant... Con constant contact. Constant contact. Constant contact. <laughs> you sometimes complete my, my sentences. Yes. Um, which, I, which I admire and in And you man. went to Spain. No, yes. wrong sentence. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, when it comes Division to... Division of labour. No, different sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it right, apparently. We, 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 Calculus. We, no. I asked you to have a look at the papers, papers on your way right, in yes. today. Right. Um, what, what have you spotted with your well, rye this eye? One here this is a sideways the, glance. Uh, which is in the Evening Standard, which mm. is, if you're not from London, yes. uh, it's a paper that comes out. It, it, I don't know. The, I mean, don't know if you want me to talk about the management structure of the yeah. No. <laughs> no, just the <laughs> stories. It's very, it's pretty, very nasty. A lot of work goes in. Apple fans face IQ tests to get hands on iPad 2. This is all about. It's a new gadget called the iPad 2, and people have been queuing up all night to buy it from I see. the store. I don't know what it does. Yeah. But, uh, when, hang on. People the, slept overnight. <laughs> the iPad 2. Yes. From um, the Where, paper. What, what, which newspaper is this? The Evening Standard talks about a couple who slept overnight outside a shop. Would you ever, have you ever slept outside a shop? Have you, <laughs> I've slept inside shops, never slept outside. What is I've the even the slept on a shop. <laughs> I once slept under a shop. But, you know. What's the date on this newspaper? Uh, March the 25th. I see, right. You, I think you, you may have misunderstood <laughs> what right. we were after in terms of the newspaper review. review. I think well, what you've done is you've It's a nice in... paper. You asked me to look at some of the papers. <laughs> also, uh, from, from the Daily Mail, yeah. seaside grass thrives inland on road salt. This is about a plant that thrives on grit. <laughs> <laughs> from the Mail, April the 8th. <laughs> I guess this could be like a yearly review of the papers that we're doing. Um, it strikes me strange you chose the grit story as the... Uh, it's, a, it's a grit story. <laughs> <laughs> oh! That's another little joke there. I'll, I'll throw a more topical right, one at yes, you. yes, please um, do. Workers at a London Aquarium have said they have successfully broken an 8.8 pound fish of its addiction to Kit Kat chocolate bars. Well, I don't really know what to say about that because normally uh, that size fish would probably enjoy... Uh, 
a sort of raisin based uh, biscuit. <laughs> More savoury. So I don't know of one that has a wafer that's. Can we, what are, which ones are the Kit Kat ones? Are they the ones that you. If you send off wrappers, they send you a packet of playing cards? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure whether that's happened no, I'm in a sure while. Once either in a dream or I'm imagining it now <laughs> every time you eat a Kit Kat it would be nice if you could maybe people could write to Kit Kat and say I bought one of your Kit Kats please send me some Kit Kat themed playing cards <laughs> it would be nice wouldn't it it would you could have you could have a Kit Kat knave hire yeah. Jack uh, Kit Kat queen oh, I could go on yeah well you know you, Ten I'm should sure. be a, 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 a Kit Kat yeah um, in the shape of <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Tell you what, you, you can go on. What we'll do is we'll play some music. Right. There's been a great reaction so far, right. uh, Robin, on the I'm, text. Thank you. Although the last one that's come in uh, is anonymous and it just says WTF. <laughs> Justice versus Simeon. Hello, it's the all-new XFM Breakfast Show. That was show. Kate Bush with Wuthering <laughs> Heights. It wasn't. Wonderfully <laughs> talented lady. She is, but it wasn't, that wasn't her. That was Justice oh, uh, versus sorry. Simeon. Uh, Robin <laughs> Cooper, the author, uh, is here with us today. Author, neighbour. Um, neighbour? Well, you must be a neighbour to someone. I am, yes. Well, Martin Bale's lived next to me for years. Did he? <laughs> Part of the Bale family. Do you know the Bale family? I don't know them. Yeah. But it's yeah. Nick Bale. Uh-huh. Is that, uh, is that the... That's his, well, nephew. Yep. He's, he's not a good sort. No. <laughs> no. He... Careful, there's rumours that he stole 4,000 trolleys from a supermarket <laughs> and dismantled them and then rebuilt them as trolleys, but th trolleys that don't work very well. This sounds a bit odd, this guy. <laughs> yes. Last thing I knew, he was swimming in a lake. <laughs> okay, uh, more from Robin Cooper, uh, White Lies and Foo Fighters after this. We are XFM. XFM. Uh, Danny Wallace, today's sitting next to uh, Raconteur, Bon Viveur. Oh, sorry? That was Peter Gabriel with Games Without Frontiers. No, 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 no. <laughs> it was the... <laughs> it he used was... to sing in that band. <laughs> he did, he did, yeah. Uh, Robin uh, is with us. Um, he is the author of uh, The Time Waster Letters, a fantastic book uh, that uh, I enjoy. Thank uh, you very much. I enjoy greatly, but not just me, but the cast of Harry Potter, um, as we were saying. Oh, they were apparently reading it when they were on that barge. Yes, yes. Was it a barge or was it I a think, film I set? I think the films, the Harry Potter films, well, I haven't read the book or seen any of the films, and I know little of it, but from what <laughs> I've garnered, it's over the course of the films, they're building a barge <laughs> which they're going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that really? So they got seven films out of that? So, well, the first film is, is, a pla is getting planning permission for it to build a barge. The <laughs> second one is finding the right port. <laughs> the third one, it was a disagreement with the port owners who went in into the administration because running a port is a very, very expensive and, and complicated business. You had all the, the fishing industries that you have to, to work with and all the different companies. Yeah. Uh, ports can be notoriously difficult to run. Have you ever run a port? I mean, it wouldn't be... We could open the phone lines to, uh, to, to sort of leading uh, figures in port authorities all around the world. Let's go to our first call. <laughs> uh, do we have anyone online? I don't think, I don't think uh, Dave's had time to line that up, no. Well, maybe we could do a special all about Port Authority. Yeah, I absolutely. think for your XFM audience, mm. it would be perfect. Are the phone lines ringing yet? No, no. nothing yet. <laughs> <laughs> nothing yet. No. Uh, Matt, Matt is uh, currently, you can see Matt, Matt, is, Matt is researching the, the news for, uh, for uh, later on. Any news at the moment? Uh, yeah, it's quite a bit happening today, yeah. Right. Uh, What's happened? Um, <laughs> so Paul McCartney uh, is going to police about the phone hacking allegations. He reckons his voicemail messages were hacked. Who would do that? Yeah, I know. Never it's heard disgraceful. of that before. It's disgraceful, no, isn't it? I think it's best if maybe you focus a little bit more. In, I don't want to criticise, but I listened to your news reports. There was scant reporting about this this matter of the port authority so maybe maybe read up on that so maybe we could club together with a competition yeah. and, and and you and we could pay for you to buy a, a book about the history of ports <laughs> <laughs> Are you into that, Matt? Is that something? Yeah, possibly. We because he that. was in the uh, the Beatles. He was the original, what well, was the drummer originally, wasn't he? Paul McCartney in the Beatles. Is that uh, right? It was Paul McCartney, it was Simon Lewis. Uh, <laughs> John Lennon was in it for, for a couple of years. And it was Pete Bailey, uh, Pete Marsh, Pete Taylor, uh, <laughs> Pete McGinley, uh, <laughs> Anthony Bailey, uh, Nick Bailey, they were brothers. 
Uh, but they were unrelated, but they were brothers. And there was um, Marie and Angela Sexton, who were twins, <laughs> and they both played keyboards. And it was because originally they, the Beatles weren't really a band; they were more just a sort of uh, poetry circle. Mm -hmm. And um, but 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 all set to sort of white noise. <laughs> Robin, I'm going to make a bold move here, uh, and I'm going to offer you uh, the position uh, of, I, I guess, some kind of mu special music correspondent, music oh. historian yes. uh, on the show, because I had no idea about Marie and Angela Sexton being in the Well, Marie and Angela <laughs> Sexton went on to form, they worked with the Rolling Stones, of course, and mm. when Mick, 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 Jagger, rather, <laughs> was, was uh, left the band for 12 years, you remember that? <laughs> yeah, in the, Mainly in the 60s, because, mm. of course, he wasn't their singer in the 60s. Uh, the, the two women whose names I've forgotten, <laughs> Mar Marie, Marie and Sexton, Sexton. They, 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 they sang, but they could imitate his voice so much that people thought it was actually um, Mick Jagger. Mick, Mick Jagger, mm, is well, that You right? know the song Satisfaction? And these are all facts? Yeah, well, they're facts. Uh, Mick, you know the song Satisfaction? Yes, I know that. Well, that was originally sang by the two ladies, <laughs> right. but they could impersonate his voice absolutely per perfectly they also um they did a lot of voice work and did most of the speeches by margaret thatcher they were actually <laughs> the, the, the two sexton, sexton twins were done by them and uh, they actually read out um the news or when you see the the news reader on bbc one yeah. he's actually lip syncing he's miming and they're behind him Is that right? yeah and they're saying all the news stories such as uh, oil tanker floods <laughs> uh, well, I hope that you can come back and, 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 and give us more on the history Certainly, of music. Certainly. I'll, 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 I mean, is it well, anyone I could sit in the studio and do every single show today on XFM? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Oh. I'm sure there is. I'll talk, to, I'll talk to Richard Skinner, who's Richard up next. Richard Skinner's on next. Yeah. Any facts about Richard? Well, Richard, of course, his original name was uh, 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 Nigel Montgomery. <laughs> yes, and he used to play back half for Blackpool, and um, he was moved um, because he had a ligament, not in, not so much an injury, it sort of burst. Yeah. And uh, then he he worked for three years in, on the uh, the board of W. H. Smith, <laughs> and, and, and he was mainly ordering in sort of lever arts files. Is that right? Uh, he did very well actually. He moved to Ryman's. <laughs> Skinner has never mentioned and, this. Well, he's well, going to announce on. today his resignation, and he's moving back to Ryman's. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> you did, and you'll never hear it again. Uh, um, so, Robin Cooper, thank you so much. Your book, You're uh, welcome. The Time Waster Letters. Uh, go and order it from one of the online bookshops now if you buy a computer. Or uh, an independent bookshop uh, if you are not. We will see you soon. Here's the Food Fighters. We are XFM.